All right, so we are back to the three by fives, right? Three by five, 80%. Um, I believe we can go up on that last set today because we already had a, like the last three by five, we stayed at the same weight for the whole time. So now we can actually add on weight to that last set. Now, as for my bench, my plants, um, cause I've been getting max after max, like it's been feeling good. I think even if it feels insanely good, this training block, we're not going for a PR. Um, I think what I want to do is just like, once I get to singles week, just make a fucking mockery out of 405. Like do a long ass, like controlled rep. So controlling it all the way down um, and then doing like a three second pause and then just like exploding up. So I, I want to make a fucking mockery out of 405. I don't think it's smart to go for yet another uh, PR. You know what I mean? Like we already got PR after PR and the latest PR that we got, 430 pounds, is uh, for 10 pounds on top of my max for bench. So we don't need to be worried about that shit right now. So just gonna do a slight three by five and we're gonna add on just a, a little bit more weight onto that last set. Nothing crazy, you know? Ryan is not here which could be a little bit of a problem because I don't plan on taking off my pump cover um I am carb the fuck up dude I had a lot of carbs I also had a gallon of water before I got here um so your boy is mad fucking bloated and it probably won't go down until later on in the workout you know quite possibly won't even go down until after I'm done cardio today uh, so I'm scared. I'm scared. Some of you guys are little jokesters, fucking ruthless. You know what I mean? So I'm scared that as soon as I remove this shit, I'm getting flamed. Absolutely fucking demolished. You know what I mean? Like the shit that makes you turn on some sad tunes, a sad YouTube playlist, turn off the lights and crank that shit and just cry. So we don't get the power up from taking off the pump cover. So I'm hoping Ryan is here to replace that. And since he's more powerful than removing the pump cover buff, not only replace that buff, but like still gain even more power. You know what I mean? Fucking laugh at you. We got a little guy number two. Look at you. You're a fool. You come in here, I throw you through the roof. It's as easy as counting the two. One, two. Barbella looking so fine, it makes me want to drool. Dave. You too? Cool. No music. Sometimes it's good to just uh, turn off the noise or turn on the noise canceling um, and just sit in silence. Now we go up to slightly big guy, which would be 315. So no more trying to little bro the weight. This is when we start taking shit seriously. Um, we should be taking shit seriously, like even when we're doing the bar, you know what I mean? Like you do want to treat every warm up 
like it's your top set, which I obviously did not do, but. Next time. All right. This is like a middle bro. You know what I mean? Not the little bro and not the big bro. This is like, he, he's the middle child. You know what I'm saying? So still, um, gonna be light work. We just can't like low bro it like we did with the last weight. If that makes any sense. Part of lifting, it's very under, very important, excuse me, to understand the family tree for the weights. If you don't, it's just gonna be a lot harder for yourself. You're not gonna know like when you should be taking shit seriously, what you're gonna have to be making max attempts on, what you can low bro and what will be lightweight. You gotta understand that family tree, study that shit. See, because I might be able to just go straight up to the first working set if it's not like, if it's not past, if it's not past 350, then I think I'm just going to go straight to that. So. Three forty four. So we're going to get that weight on and then head straight into that first set. All right, well, our boy is not here, but we do have to get into the first set. So we're just going to have to, unfortunately, believe and rely on our own strength. It's just like, why? Like, why? All right, so we're going to turn on the music. Not just for the buff, so that in case somebody wants to do something weird like that again, uh, we won't hear it. So I actually just remembered that we got 430 literally last singles. That's when we got the max. So we're actually not supposed to add on more weight for that last set. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna use the next two sets to really dial in uh, and just get our bodies used to handling these heavy loads that we're gonna have to be handling going forward, you know, with the percentage training uh, with uh, the new max. All right, so second set. Um, the deal with this usually would be like, you know, uh, use this as just like a feel good, give me that confidence into going into that third set where I add on more weight, but we're not adding on more weight for that last set. So the name of the game is just to have perfect form. Let's have to have perfect form, push the shit, get the body used to lifting this new heavy weight. You know what I'm saying?
So liftoff is a little bit fucked. Uh, I should have moved these lower before we added on the weight because it's too late now. I'm not about to take off all this shit and then move it down. Uh, especially when we have one more set left. So it's a little bit awkward. Um, but I don't know. Shit like that kind of makes you feel even more good about your lifts. Because it's like, oh, not only does shit feel good, but I did it while having a fucked lift off in. And, uh, I don't know. Ryan, if you see this, you're a fucking liar. You told me you would be here on Monday. I don't see you. And I just want to say it fucking hurts. Bad. <laughs> so today's lifting motivation for hitting this last set and finishing up strong is heartbreak. Because of you, Ryan, you've broken my heart. But I will say that Ryan is such a guy that if he says sorry, I will forgive him. But right now, fuck you, you broke my heart. I'm sad, angry, and sad. You're done for. As soon as I get in that seat, you're fucking done. Just wanted to cop a feel before I do her for five. It's good. That's the only thing, it's just gotta work on staying tight in this arm, this shoulder. I find myself too much just kind of like leaning into that left arm, you know what I'm saying? Um, so if we had to work on anything, it would be that. Um, could also just be that my shoulders, like my delts are a little bit fried just from scruffing the lift off so many times. But yeah, I would say after feeling out those three sets, just gotta keep an eye out for that right shoulder giving out and shit. Just make sure I'm staying tight in that arm and not just, you know, more tight in the left and the right. Um, but yeah, new weight, happy about that. Yeah.